Well, now it's time for our Saturday play, which takes us to 1961 and Illinois for a gothic adventure. Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury Dramatized by Diana Griffiths Home's coming Who'll buy a lightning rod Protect your homes with a lightning rod Storms are coming It all started with the lightning rod man coming Jim and me we was just lying on the grass out front that evening, carving twig whistles. Sure is hot, Bull, for October. Hasn't lit up all day. Somewhere not so far back, fast lightning stumped the earth. Somewhere a great storm, like a terrible beast. With terrible teeth, could not be denied. Howdy, boys. Your folks at home? Nope. Yeah, you got any money yourselves? Nope. Uh-huh. Boy. Blonde boy, hair white as milk thistle. What's your name? Will. William Halloway. And you, boy, hair like glossy wax chestnuts. Eyes of mint green? Jim Nightshade. That's me. Nightshade, eh? Hey, that's quite a name. And only fitting. Yeah, see, we... Well, I was born one minute before midnight, October 30th, and Jim... I was born one minute after midnight. Which makes it October 31st. Halloween. Yes. Halloween. Not cheap. No money, you say. Well, then, take this lightning rod for free. One of your houses will be struck by lightning. Without this rod, bang! Fire and ashes, roast pork and cinders. Grab! Boy, it's heavy. And writing on it, foreign. It's Egyptian, and that's a scarab beetle. So it is, boy. And those there, Venetian hand tracks? Right. Why? Why? Why Egyptian? Phoenician? Arabic? Abyssinian? Choctaw? Well, what language does the wind talk? What nationality is a storm? Boys, you gotta be ready in every dialect for the balls of blue light that prowl the earth like sizzling cats. Which house? Which one would it strike? What makes you so sure the lightning will strike anywhere around here? Well, some folks draw lightning. Suck it in like cats suck babies' breath. Some glow in the dark. Uh, both those two houses. Now, listen. Lightning needs channels like rivers to run in. One of those attics is a dry river bottom itching to let lightning pull through tonight. It's tonight? Which attic? I've shielded and made safe 100,000 God-fearing homes. So when I tell you boys you're in dire need, listen. You, you climb the roof, nail this rod high, ground it in the good earth before nightfall. Uh, but which house? Which? Mm. Let me see, let me see. Jim Nightshade, this here your place? Mine. Oh, I should have known. This is the one. Uh, hey, what about me? Oh, a few sparks will jump on your rain spouts, William Holloway. But the real show's next door here at the Nightshades. Well, I'm on my way. Storms are coming. They don't wait. Otherwise, bam! And the boy hit by lightning. Lift his lid. And there on his eyeball, pretty as the Lord's prayer on a pin, you're going to find the last scene that boy ever saw. Get moving, Jim. Hammer it high. Are you dead? Come down. Hammered high. Where'd he go? Jim, your supper's ready. Don't stand there, Jim. Your house, he said. You're gonna nail up the rotter, ain't you? No. Why spoil the fun? Fun? You crazy? I'll get the ladder. You, the hammer. No. I'm gonna brave it. Jim, come on in for your supper now. Jim, think of your mom. You want her burnt? No. All right, let's go and nail the rod. So, after we nailed the rod on Jim's roof and had supper, we came to the library, like we always do. And talked to Mr. Halloway, Will's father. Sweeping the floor on the night shift. Oh, Jim. Eyes darker, skin paler. You burn yourself at both ends, boy. And Will? <laughs> you 
grown an inch since this morning. And he always seems stunned to see me. His own son. We were choosing books. Dad, why is your hair so white? Not like the other dads. Ain't so young as the other dads, son. Used to have hair your color, though. You look a bit like me. Like me in a smash mirror. Uh, come on, Lou. We gotta go. Yeah, choose a book first. Up there, Miss Foley stamps your book. But way down those aisles, there's Outer Mongolia, Tibet, and Antarctica. The silent civilian deserts are 10,000 people screaming. Jim won't be long, and you'll be drawn to Dr. Faustus. And Will, you're more candy. I'll settle for the mysterious island. Jules Verne, good choice. I'll take this book on dinosaurs. Miss Foley. Hello, Charlie. Stamp these for the boys, please, Miss Foley. Dinosaurs and mysterious islands coming up. And then you two better be getting on home. It's late. Sometimes I don't understand you, Dad. Me neither, Jim. Sometimes at 3 a.m., I get up to use the bathroom, and I see the light shining from the library across town. And I know he's sitting there, reading. What's that? What? The wind? Heck, where's that storm you promised? I just gotta watch that lightning fizz down my drain pipes. Be here by morning. Who says? The huckleberries all down my arms. Great. Come on. Run, Will, run. Oh, I wish I was young again. I wish I was younger so as I could run without pain. <sighs> Why are you crying, Charlie? Because uh, of everything and nothing. <laughs> My son, Will, I... Makes me feel so old. And I got a wife who's too good for me. Something's happening, Miss Foley. The cotton candy. Smell it on the wind. Long, long time ago, we used to eat that stuff. Mm. Where does it all go? Forty years in the wink of an eye. I haven't smelt cotton candy in so long. <laughs> Is it licorice? No, it's cotton candy. Who sells that? Only circuses. Circuses. Hey, that's right. It catch that bill poster. What's it say? It says, Cougar and Darks, Carnival and Circus, Pandemonium Shadow Show. Arriving immediately. The street's full of paper. Look! Cougar and Dark's Carnival. Coming October 24th? That's tomorrow! I see Mephistopheles. Mr. Electro, Mademoiselle Taro. The illustrated man, tattooed with monsters the move. I see the skeleton. The dust witch. What's a dust witch? Here's more. The Egyptian mirror maze. See yourself 10,000 times. See yourself young, see yourself old, and the carousel. The magic carousel. Come on, it's coming. It's coming on the train. Uh, wait for me. To the bridge. There we saw our very old train pass with black smoke and an organ playing, but nobody playing it. Listen to that train, Miss Foley. Like a billion people protesting, not wanting to be dead. Jim and I went home then. Sneaked out of bed at 2 a.m. Come to where the train arrived at Rolf's Meadow. A carnival should be all noise and growls and wars. But this is silence. Shadows, figures like black and white ghosts rush from the train like, like in a silent old movie. Hell. Don't say hell. Hell, hell, hell. A massive balloon with a figure in suddenly hovers above like a moldy green cheese fixed to the sky. The ringmaster stands in the middle of the field. 2 a.m. The moon looks down. The carnival waits. Black, the big tent takes shape. A mirror maze, all silver and white. The color of like a great arctic mass. Shivers with any shadows that pass. The notice says, 
What your heart desires, young or old, you will see yourself unfold. The mirror maze. If a man stood here, would he see himself unfolded away a billion times to eternity? Would a billion images look back, each face and the face after, and the face after that? Old, older, oldest. I don't like it. Yeah. It, Jim, it, come on, race you home. 3 a.m. And that's when I see them, Will and Jim. What the hell are they doing out now? Three in the morning is for men like me who can't sleep. The soul is out. Blood moves slow. Nearest to dead, save dying. The train arrives at an hour of despair. Why? I don't believe it. It's just a plain old carnival after all. It did last night really happen? Like heck. We weren't blind last night. Come on. Nah, just moth-eaten old canvas and wore out tinsel. Not spooky at all. Jim? Will? Hi, Hi Miss Foley. Foley. Don't you just love carnivals? I'm looking for my fool nephew. You seen him? I didn't know he had a nephew, Miss Foley. Robert, from Wisconsin. He came last night. Haven't seen him since he was a baby. He's staying with me a few weeks while his parents are away. Said he'd meet me here, but you know boys... Oh, cheer up. Rides will open in ten minutes. Meantime, I think I'll spy through that mirror maze. Uh, no. No what? Uh, no mirror maze. Uh, Miss Foley, don't go in there. Why not? Um, uh, people get lost. How do you know? Oh, all the more reason. Robert might be wandering loose and not find his way out. Yeah, but, uh, but you never can tell what might be swimming around in there. Oh, <laughs> Swimming. Oh, what a lovely mind you have, Will. Yes, but I'm just an old fish after all. Hey, Miss Foley, <laughs> I'll see you when I come out. What was all that about? The mirrors. The only things I don't like. I mean, they're the only things like last night. Like they're waiting to kill you with a glance. Boy, you've been out in the sun. That mare maze in there is... Oh. Jim... Is what, Jim? It really does. What? Hair back of your neck, you know, stand on end. Mine's doing it right now. Gosh, Jim, so's mine. So is mine. Look, if you lean forward and to the right, you can see into the maze. Look, all those Miss Foley's. Wave to her. Cooey. Hey. Cooey. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. Miss Foley. Which one's the real one? She she's not waving back. She looks funny. Miss Foley! Help! 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 Oh no, 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 no! Help! 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 Oh God, help me! We better go in. Come on. Whoa, Jim! Look at your face. It's so long. And yours over there. It's fast. Uh, there she is. Miss Foley, here. Oh. Uh, here. Ah. This way. Ow. Can't find her. Every Miss Foley is just glass. Oh. But look at me. Look at me. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello, Jim. Oh, God. I got her, Jim. I got you, Miss Foley. I got her hand. Save me. She's pulling me under. Jim, help. Where are you? I'm here, Will. I got you. Hold tight and I'll pull you both out. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Jim. Oh, I'd have drowned. Miss Foley, you're hurting my hand. Did you see her? She's lost. Drowned in there, poor girl. Oh, the poor little lost sweet. Oh, we must save her. But there's no one in there. I saw her. I swear, no one went in ahead of you or after you. She's at the bottom. Poor girl, I knew her. Hello, I waved. I ran. Bang. 
I fell. Well, she fell. A thousand of her fell. Wait, I said. What are you doing here? I I think she said, I'm real, you're not. And then she ran off in the maze. Oh, boys, we must find her. Miss Foley, what did she look like? Fact is... uh, Fact is... She looked like myself many, many years ago. I'll go home now. Thank you, boys. Have fun. I'm leaving, too. No, we're staying until dark. No! You would chicken? No, but would you dare go back in that maze? Oh, Will. I saw me in there. That's different. What do you mean? What the heart desires, young or old, you'll see yourself unfold. Miss Foley saw herself young. I was older. Just a glimpse. It was wild. Shut up! Scare the hell out of me! Come on, we're going home. Will, we can't go home yet. That ain't no normal mirror maze. If we don't look around now, we might never know the truth about this colonel. Just ten minutes more? So, while most other kids our age were at home eating their dinner... We went to check out the carousel. The magic carousel with the painted horses. There was a sign that said, Out of order, keep off. Been there all day, that sign. But the carousel didn't look broke to me, so I climbed up. Jim, don't! Get down from there! Gee up, gee up! Come around beside me, Willie! Get on there! Oh, there! You boy! Get! I said get down! <laughs> And he just lifted Jim help, through the air. Help, help! Then he lifted me. Help. Hey! Uh, it says, out of order, can't you read? Mr. Cougar, Mr. Cougar, put him down. Put him down. Good. Now, boys. Um, we were... Curious. Yes, Mr. The name is Dark, Mr. Dark. And my friend there with the red hair is Mr. Cougar of Cougar and Dark. Circus! My card. Oh, boy, your arm. It's full of eels and snakes and worms. Uh, You must be the tattooed man. See his arm, Jim. No, the illustrated man. There is a difference. See? They move. Watch. That snake. Careful. Gosh. What's your name, boy? Boy? Uh, Simon. Well, now, Simon, the show's over, I'm afraid. Carnival's shut till seven. Come back later and ride a carousel when it's fixed. Here, Mr. Cougar. Free ride. For both of you. Free. Remember. We ran on then, but we didn't get far. Because? Because we heard. They've gone, Mr. Dark. All clear now. So we crept back and hid and watched. Look, Mr. Cougar, he's getting on. All right, Mr. Dark, I'm ready. It's not broke. Jim, it's running backwards. His face is starting to melt like like pink wax. Look at his hands. He's getting smaller. And younger! Thirty! Twenty! Nineteen! Eighteen! Seventeen! Sixteen! Fifteen! Fourteen! Thirteen! And? Stop! Stop! It's good! This is fine! Twelve! Mr. Kruger's twelve! See you later, Mr. Dark! After him! Don't let him get away! Come on! Culpepper Street. Miss Foley lives here. He's turning into her house. We gotta go into that house. What? Meet him face to face? We gotta be sure. Boy, I'm so scared I could sprinkle dust. Jim, why aren't you scared? Well, I'll be darned. You're right, I'm not. Boys, this is Robert, my nephew from Wisconsin. How do you do? Robert, eh? You look sort of familiar. Jim. A bit like an uncle of mine. Don't. Have you two had supper? We're just sitting down. No. 
Uh, we just wanted to check you were okay after those darn carnival murders. Uh, we gotta go. Pity. I'm taking Aunt Willa to the carnival later. Join us then. Great. Uh, sorry, it can't tonight. Tomorrow then. Okay. Swell. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Jim, did you see his eyes? That Robert, or Mr. Cougars. No matter what he did to his body, the eyes remain the same. Yeah. And the music that was playing when Mr. Cougar got younger was the funeral march by Chopin. But played backwards because he was marching away from the grave and not towards it. Getting younger and smaller instead of older and dropping dead. Yeah, I know. So when it goes forwards... Look, just go home. Why don't you want to come home, too? You don't talk to that Robert. You spoil everything. My gosh, you chew you up and spit out your bones. Get out of my way. Let go of me. Let go yourself. Ouch, that hurt. I'll give you another one. You don't let go. Now I'll remember it when I'm... When you're what? When what? When I'm older, darn it. Older. Oh, Jim, you want to go forwards, don't you? The carousel. Around once you're 15... Circling again and you're 16, three more times and 19, how could we still be friends? You, two feet taller, looking down on me, making fun. Well, I won't let you. I won't, so there. Get off me. Hey, keep going. Just stay there. Jim, no, stop. What's this? What? Robert up there. What's he throwing down? A brooch? Silver breaks it? Here's here's a watch. Why is he throwing? Help! Police! And Willow! You've been robbed! Burglars! Down there! I'll go fetch the police! Burglars! Robert? Who's there? Jim? Is it Will? What are you doing? What's that you've got? Goodbye and good luck! Come on, after him! He's riding forwards. And there was Robert, the nephew, really Mr. Cougar, riding in a swirl, his pink hand out, urging Jim to follow. We've got to stop it before he gets older and bigger than the two of us. Leave it. Where are you going? I'll be bigger too. And no, Jim, you're not going to ride. Try and stop me. You're spoiling all the fun. I'll stop the carousel. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Yeah. 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 We crashed against the machinery. Then... The handle's gone funny. It can't turn it. Hey, help me. I think it's broken. We tried everything. But the control box was bust and splashing lightning all over. Robert was going around incredibly fast. We saw him try to make his way to the outer rim to jump off, but he kept getting thrown back. And he wasn't a boy anymore, but a man. And then more than a man. And even more. And much more than that. Around and around. How many times did it go round? Is two hundred three? Oh well, look at him. His hair was long and spidery, white. It blew like milkweed in the dark. Eyes were shut. And nose collapsed on the gristle. Mouth of ruined white flower. He was small inside his clothes. Small as a child, but old. So old, very old. He smelled of moon swamps and old Egyptian bandages like you have in museums. And he was cold. Cold as an albino frog. He's dead. Look. They're coming. All of them. Skeleton. Dust witch. We gotta get out of here before Mr. Dark comes. Quiet now. Back off. Maybe they haven't seen us yet. Make for those bushes behind us. We didn't do anything wrong, really, did we? He went backwards and forwards, old then young and young then old. We can stop it happening, can we? And they're no good, none of them. Hell, even I don't believe the things that have happened in the last 24 hours. But we've got to find someone higher up. And now we know the score. Who'd believe us if we told them? What do we do, Will? Uh, we'll call in the police station on our way home. I don't understand it, officer. 
To think Will and Jim would break in my house and steal and run off. You saw their faces? My son? Oh, Charlie, I am sorry. When I scream, they look back under the light. My nephew saw them, too. Where is your nephew now, Miss Foley? He... he went... I don't know. Look, I don't want to prosecute, but if the boys are innocent, where are they now? Here we are. Here. Uh, We've come to give ourselves up. Tomorrow you both go apologize to Miss Foley again. Lucky you turned yourself in. Lucky Miss Foley won't press charges. Yes, Yes, sir. sir. Good night, then, Mr. Holloway. Will? Good night, Jim. And no more wanderings tonight. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, Jim. Will, you and Jim didn't steal anything, did you? No. I know you. You're not acting guilty, but why did you go to the police? Because we got enough enemies without the law on us, too. We were framed, Dad. I figured if we pretended to make a clean breast, they'd go easy, and they did. No point trying to explain the truth. Nobody would believe what we say. I'd believe. Would you? In a couple of days, Dad, I'll tell you everything, I swear. Mom's honor. Mom's honor is good enough for me. Dad, am I a good person? Yes. Will that... Will it help when things get really rough? It'll help. Dad, are you a good person? To you and your mother? Yes. But a man's no hero to himself. Why aren't you happy? Since when do you think being good meant being happy? Since always. Well, since now, learn otherwise. Sometimes the man who looks happiest in town with the biggest smile is the one carrying the biggest load of sin. He's had his fun, and he's guilty. And men do love sin, Will. On the other hand, that unhappy, pale, put-upon man walking by who looks all guilt and sin, well, often that's your good man. For being good is a fearful occupation. Men strain at it and sometimes break in two. You work twice as hard, minute by minute, hour by hour. You got the choice. Be good, be bad. That's what the clock ticks. I always wanted to be perfect, I guess. Spent too much of my life hanging around, thinking, analyzing, worrying over right choices to make. Instead of getting on doing stuff. So suddenly I got old. I was 39 for marrying your mother. I want you to be happy. Well, just tell me that I'll live forever. That'll do it nicely. Come on. Let's go in. Dad, don't go near the carnival. That's strange. That's just what I was going to tell you. Jim, you awake? Mom? You shouldn't have the window so high open. Mind your health. Sure. Don't say sure that way. You don't know until you've had three children and lost all but one. Never gonna have any. No use making more people. People die. You're here, Jim. If you weren't, I'd have given up long ago. Mom, can you remember Dad's face? Do I look like him? The day you go away is the day he leaves forever. Hey, who's going away? Why, just lie in there, Jim. You run so fast. Promise me, wherever you go and come back, you'll bring lots of kids. Let them run wild. Let me spoil them someday, huh? Never gonna own anything that can hurt me. Oh, someday you gotta be hurt. No, I don't. You'll live and get hurt. Oh, sleep tight now. Oh, why do boys want their windows wide open? Warm blood. Warm blood. That's the story of all our sorrows. And don't ask why. Hey, Storm. You out there? Why don't I climb up, knock that lightning rod loose, and throw it away? Night, Dad, night. The lightning rod. Gone! Jim! Jim! I sort of felt the balloon coming before I heard it. Then it stopped right over our houses. It was green, like moldy cheese. And the temperature dropped to freezing. Must have gone down 40 degrees. 
And there was something in the balloon. The dust witch. Eyes sewn shut with black thread. Ears stuffed with moss. Horrible, wrinkly mouth. Like an old dried apricot. I saw her. I sort of felt her fingers dipping down to turn everything over and, like, feel the bumps of the world. And she dipped inside me with one hand. And me with the other. She felt our souls. And she tasted them and smelled them. You killed Mr. Cougar, William Halloway. You killed Mr. Cougar, Jim Nightshade. We will come for you both. Revenge! (laughs) She floated away over Jim's roof. Come on, Jim, hurry up. It'll be dawn soon. Where will we go? Find somewhere to hole up for when they come looking for us. My mom. She'll be fine. But they... Fine. It's us they'll be looking for, not our parents. It would have to rain just now. It's going straight down my neck. Shh. Jim. Someone's crying. Where? There's a little girl. What will a little girl be doing out under a tree? In the rain? Who is it? I don't know. May, may help me. Not Jenny Holdridge, is it? Uh, no. Jane Franklin? Uh, no. Help me. Nobody will help me. I don't like this. It's all right, little girl. We'll help you. Will? Jim? It's you. No, no, let go of my hand. I don't know you. Oh, don't go. Don't leave me. Oh, Will, Will, let's get out of here. Someone must help me. Someone must help. Her. Nobody will. Nobody has. I can't leave her. She's gone. Find her. She's gone. Bring her back. Find who? Oh, she's lost. Lost. She ran off in that place and never come back. Hey, now, you'll be all right. I'll get help for you. This is Will Holloway, okay? I know. But I know who you are. Um... Your eyes. You know me. Yeah. Miss Foley. Who believe it? I believe. We do. Jim and me. The carousel. She rode on the carousel. Oh, I gotta go. I got to. Before, before they find me. You no, know, Miss Foley, come back. I come back. It couldn't have been Miss Foley. Yes, it's the eyes. They never change. That's how you tell. Like it was with Mr. Cougar and the evil boy. She must have heard the music and gone out. Something went wrong. Maybe the carousel wasn't fixed right after we broke it. Or maybe they did something to her on purpose. Just gave her more than she ever wanted. Or asked for. Yeah. She just wanted to be young again, that's all. But not that young. (sighs) Right now, I feel like I just ate a cold snail raw. Carnival procession. Coming into town? They're looking for us already. They can march down any old street, fine and dandy, in a procession and spy as they go. Come on, let's go. Halloway residence. Dad, it's Will. Uh, We may not be home today. Uh, Tell Mom and Jim's mom. Well, where are you? We got to hide. They're looking for us. Who, who's they? Circus people. I don't want you in it, Dad. We'll just hide one day, maybe two, till they go away. If we came home, they'd follow and hurt you or Ma or Jim's mom. Willie. I got to go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Willie. Luck? We were hidden in the dark drain under the cigar store sidewalk grill to let the carnival pass. It's right out front of the cigar store. What are we doing here, Will? Let's go. No, shut up. Look at that. Went to buy some cigars in town, dropped the cellophane down a metal grill, watched it go, and saw Jim. Will? What in the hell is going on? Don't look down at us here. Come up out of there. Dad, we can't. It's the Halloway. We're dead if you don't look up. The illustrated man. Who? A man was approaching, and every bit of him I could see was tattooed. Sir, name's Dark. I'm looking for two boys. 
the Cougar Dark combined shows and picked them to be our special guests during our celebratory visit to town. Well, I, These boys will ride all rides, see each show, shake hands with every performer, go home with magic kits, baseball bats. And uh, who are these lucky boys? There is one, and there, the other. He opened each hand in turn. On his left palm was tattooed Jim's face, and on his right palm, Will's. You know them, sir? Surely you wouldn't want him to lose out. Uh, no, but uh, well, one of them looks like... Like? Milton Blomquist. Who is Milton? And the other looks like Avery Johnson. They, they, they both moved to Milwaukee two weeks ago. You lie. Me? Fact is, we know who these boys are. They are Jim and Will. There's plenty of Jims and Wills around. Prizes? Special guests? I don't believe a word of it. You're the one that's lying, Mr. Dark. And he squeezed his hands in rage. First the right. Ah, my head! Then the left. Ah, ah, my head! He was digging his nails into the palms. Blood! Tripping through the grill. And then... And then the dust which appeared. <sighs> tell your husbands. Tell your wives. Tell your fortunes. Tell your lives. See me. I know. See me at the show. Tell you the color of his eyes. Tell you the color of her lies. <sighs> Blind, yes. But I see what I see. Why? <sighs> There's Mr. Dark. And good day to you, old man. Fine day to you, Mom. And your name, sir, is... Halloway. Charlie Halloway. Work in the library. Uh, in fact, I I I'm late. I, I better be going. I Drop by sometime. I will. Oh, Mr. Halloway, yeah. you can be sure I will drop by sometime. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Psst. Boys, they've gone. Now, can you hide, keep out from under the rest of the day? I'll tell your mothers you got jobs at the carnival. It's a good excuse for you not coming home. By the time you show up after dark, I'll have a plan. So that's what we did. We hid, and we hid all day long until after seven. Then made our way to the library. Now, see here. I got to look into these old newspapers. This advert here from October 1888. Here, J. Cougar and G. M. Dark present the Pandemonium Theater Company. Combines sideshows and unnatural museums international. 1888? Yeah, going back. 1860, 1846, the same ad. Same names. Dark and Cougar. Cougar and Dark. It couldn't be the same men, could it? Yeah, in October. Always in October. Beware the autumn, people. What? It's an old religious tract. I read it as a boy. How does it go now? Where do they come from? The dust. Where do they go? The grave. Does blood stir in their veins? No, the night wind. What ticks in their head? The worm. What speaks from their mouth? The toad. What sees from their eyes? The snake. What hears with their ears? The abyss between the stars. The autumn people. So, does that make us summer people? No, not quite. Most of us, half and half. There are times when we're all autumn people, when we're foolish, wrong, evil, sinful, because we haven't given it thought. You see, knowing, really knowing, is good. Not knowing or refusing to know to think is bad. We'll have a visit from the autumn people very soon. But is it bad, the carnival? Bad? How can you ask that? No, no, it's a good question. Part of that carnival looks great and people enjoy it, but you can't get something for nothing. And the fact is, from them you get nothing for something. They make you empty promises. You stick your neck out, wham! Where do they come from? Who are they? Oh, maybe a man a million years ago stuffed himself with other people's unhappiness. Chewed their pain all day, thrived on it because the stuff of nightmares... 
is their plain bread. They butter it with pain. All those years? The same people? Yeah, right in the carousel. They can shave off a year or two any time they want. So they could live forever and hurt people. But why? Why all the hurt? Because you need fuel, boy, gas, something to run a carnival on. Maybe it survives living up the poison of the sins we do to each other and the ferment of our most terrible regrets. It smells boys ulcerating to be men and feels the aggravation of middle-aged men like me who gibber after long-lost August afternoons to no avail. It attracts old ladies like Miss Foley who wants to be a beautiful young woman again. But they're careful not to tell one thing to those who go riding to its music. What? Jim, if you're a miserable sinner in one shape, you are in another. And an old man, made into a young man, still got an old man's brain. Like poor Miss Foley. I wonder what they'll do with her, Dad. God help her. They'll probably throw her in with the rest of the freaks. Now, we have to decide. Do we keep hiding out? No. We can't. We've got to fight. But what kind of weapons? Silver bullets? Holy water? No, that's vampires. It's the front door. Someone's inside. Hide. We can't leave you. Hide. Go on. Amongst the books. Uh, Mr. Dark, at your service, Mr. Halloway. Where are the boys? Boys? The boys are not home. What a shame they'll miss those free rides. I wish I knew where they were. I could kill you, old man. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I hear your frail heart beating. One of my friends outside can fix you so it seems you died of most natural heart failure. Why do your eyes jump beyond my shoulder? The boys are in here somewhere, aren't they? You tell me where they are, old man. I'll make you 40 again. You can celebrate 35. No. A rare young age. Heal your heart so you can run again. I... I won't listen. Everything fine and new and glorious to be savoured again? Shut up. Just shut up. I'm not listening. <laughs> All right. Stay here and listen to your heart. I'll send someone to fix it. But first, the boys. Boys? You there? He won't find them. He won't. Boys? Answer me. You hear me? Boys? We were on the topmost shelf in one of the aisles. Laid flat. He's coming. He's near. One of you still wants what we offer, eh? Jim. Me? No. Not still. Not me. Is it Jim? That's a smart one. I don't know anything. We'll shut William up. Give you the ride to put him in his if he used his head. Right, Jim? I wonder, are you in this alcohol? <laughs> Will? William Hannaway. Where's your mother tonight? She was out riding the night wind, Willie William, on the carousel. We put her on, around, we left her on, around a year, around and around. You hear, Will? Can you guess which way? Dad, where are you? And when we let your mother off, boy, you should have heard the sound she made. She was like a cat with a hairball in her. And her old, 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 100 years old. A kettle of bones and spit. No one will believe what a rose beauty she was. <laughs> Where are you now? Found under beast of boys. H for hidden, S for secret, T for terrified. He's in our alcove. Maybe you won't help. <laughs> One shelf, two, three, four, five. Am I cold? Colder? Coldish? Well, hello. The hand with Jim pictured grabbed him. The hand with Will pictured grabbed him. I'm coming, boys. Mr. Halloween. 
He put us both under one arm. And then he was squeezing Dad's left arm. May you be damned for this. I already am. And Dad fell to the ground. And then he took us out into the street and I saw our mom. Not old and crazy, just normal. And I saw my mom. We were coming out of the church. And we tried to cry out. Mom! Mom! He gagged us with his fists. <sighs> old man, old man. You industrious. Damn you. I hear your breathing. I feel your heart. Why? Why don't you just do it? Stop the heart. Get it over with. Tired, slow. Tired. Slow, slower. Left arm, no feeling. Oh, no. No. No, you don't. I won't give in to you. You, you, you're, you're so funny. You're not ugly at all. I, I, just, I can't take you seriously. Slow heart, Paris. Slow. Stop. Hey, no, no, no. Now you're tickling me. Oh, no. What's that sticking out your back? Who wound you up? I can't. No. 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 I, I can't. I can't bear it. Laughing, laughing brings me out in a, in a rash. <laughs> when the crowds go home in half an hour, we'll ride Jim round. You still want that, Jim? Mm. Mm. You'll travel with us now that Mr. Cougar's dead. How would you like to be partners? I'll grow you to a fine, strong age. 22, 25... Dark and nightshade. Nightshade and dark. Sweet, lovely names for such as we. What do you say, Jim? Mm. Dark had put a spell on us. We couldn't speak like we were in deep shock. And we'll. Let's ride him back and back, eh? Make him a babe in arms. A babe for the dust witch to carry like a clown child for the next 50 years. Would you like that, Will? To be a babe forever, not able to talk and tell all the lovely things you know. Yes, I think that's best for Will. <coughs> now, you sit here quietly amongst the waxworks. Don't move. Nobody will notice us. Will I close down the carnival for the night and send all these good folks home? Then we can have the field to ourselves, can't we? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last free event of this evening, folks. We present the most amazingly dangerous, oft times fatal, world famous bullet trick. The rifle, if you please. And here, our death defier, the bullet catcher who will stake her life, Madame Dustwich. Now we need a volunteer. Volunteer to fire the rifle. Very well, since there are no volunteers, we will cancel our last act. Here's one. <gasps> no! Not him! Hey, she's great. She acts really scared. The rifle, please. <laughs> Sir, what have you done to your left arm? And you can't fire a rifle with just one. Boy, I need a boy to help me. My son is out there somewhere. Will? Willie, are you there? Willie, come and help your old man. Will! Will! William! Will! 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 Here's Will, my good left hand. The bullet, please. Mark it with your initials. You must always mark it with your initials to prove... I'll mark the bullet with more than that. Here. Crescent moon? I don't understand. There. John, help me now. Let me use your shoulder as a brace. What is a crescent... Ah! Oh. She's crumbled to a heap of ashes. Dad, you killed her. And I can speak again. Imbecile, you fool. 
lost the crescent moon I put on that bullet, Will. It was a smile. No, she's not dead. It was an illusion, an illusion before your very eyes. I walked that bullet with my own smile. Come on, boy. Let's go find Jim. Jim! Jim, no! We're too late. She's riding. Go get him, Will. Jim, get off! Don't leave me here! Jim! Jump! Dad, stop the machine. Jim, I need you. Come back. Will! Yes, Will. Remember me? Dad, the carousel. He's getting older. Turn it back. The handle won't budge. It, it's stuck. It's stuck. Hold on, Jim. Hold on. Help me, Will. I got it. Got it. Will, I'm there. Hold on there, Jim. Come to the edge. Be careful. Get ready to jump. Dad! Stop it now. He's 13 again. Ah! But the carousel stopped so suddenly that Jim was put off balance and thrown hard into the grass. Jim. He's not moving. Is he dead? Jim. Hey, Jim, wake up. Oh, help! Help! Oh, please help me. He's after me. The terrible man. I want to go home. I'm lost. That man with the tattoo. Mr. Dark. Yes, he's down that way. Oh, stop him. I will. Take care of Jim. All right, boy, lead on. Quick. Hey, hey, come on. What is your name? Jed. Oh, hurry up. Hey, wait a minute. Just a minute. How old are you, Jed? Nine. My gosh, this is no time. This is a fine time, Jed. Only nine? So young. I was never that young. Holy cow. Oh, unholy something. Come here. No. Yeah. Are you afraid? You're only afraid of one man, Jed. Me. You cut it out. Where are you taking me, Jed? To some lion's cage you got fixed and ready? To some sideshow like like in the mirrors? Huh? What? Come on. Let's just roll up your shirt sleeve, shall we? Come on. <laughs> Don't you run away. I rolled up his sleeve and there they all were. Blue serpents, blue venom snake eyes, blue scorpions scuttling about. And all up and down his tiny torso. Scurry. Why, Jed, that's great artwork on your arm and, and here on your belly, huh? That is great. You... He tried to take a swipe at me, but I clamped him in a vice. You stay right there. Just a minute. It was a fine idea, admit it. Get me off alone, fix me, then go back and get well. You stop struggling. You can't hurt me. Funny, you know, I think I can. Let me give you a big hug. Murder! Murder! I'm not going to murder you, Jed. Mr. Dark, whoever, whatever you are. You're going to murder yourself because you can't stand being near people like me. Not this close. This close. Ah. A nice big... Evil. You're evil. Evil? So it must seem to you. Good to evil seems evil. So I will do only good to you, Jed. I will simply hold you and watch you poison yourself until you tell me what is wrong with Jim. Wake him up. Can't. 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 You mean you won't. All right. Evil has only the power that we give it. I give you, Jed, nothing but hugs. Huh? Mm-hmm. Starve. Mm-hmm. He should have roared like a lion, but he withered, dissolved like dust, and the tattoos, too, disappeared in the darkness. All the characters he'd ever captured for the carnival. The mirror maze. It's destroyed. Dad! Dad! Look at Jim. He's opening his eyes. What? What? What you two looking at? Oh, Dad. Dad, you did it. We did it together. What happened? Well, what didn't happen? 
Come on, help him up, Will. Uh, Dad, will they? Will they ever come back? No. And yes. Not them, but other people like them. Not in a carnival, maybe, but goodness knows what shape they'll come in next. But sunrise, noon, or the latest sunset tomorrow, they'll show. They're on the road. Oh, no! Oh, yes. We gotta watch out the rest of our lives. The fight's just begun. Uh, what will they look like? How will we know them? Maybe they're already here. Midnight. Come on, last ones of the railroad is a tortoise. Mr. Holloway, no, you... I'm game, Jim. Dad, your heart. Now, is death important? Well... Dad. No. Everything that happens before death is what counts. And we've done fine tonight. Even death can't spoil it. Okay, ready? <laughs> Run! <laughs> hey, hey, wait for me, boys. Wait, wait for me. Will was Theo Gregory, Jim, Joseph Lindsay, Charlie, Henry Goodman, Mr. Dark, Kenneth Cranham, and Mr. Cougar and the Lightning Rod Salesman was Jared McDermott. Miss Foley was Barbara Barnes, young Miss Foley, Amelia Clarkson, the Dust Witch, Buffy Davis, Robert, Terence Danzler, and Jed was Ethan Brooke. Original music was composed by David Paul Jones. Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. <laughs>